Okay, so in our textbook today, we are skipping ahead to 4-8, and we're going to be looking to try to find out if shapes, geometric shapes that look similar are similar, and we're going to use proportions to do that. So when I look at these two triangles, let me zoom in on them, our book has them color-coded so we know what part of it goes with what. Do you see how the red line on both of them goes together? Yes. So pick up your pencil because we're going to write like a map of a proportion to show how this works. So this line we would call A to what? So here's what we would write. A B over what's this one? D to E. So when we're thinking about a proportion in words, the top is the small triangle and the bottom of our ratio is the large triangle. And we're going to use the lettering on the triangles to try to determine if they are the same. So what's the next set? We can look at the blue lines. And on the small triangle, what's the blue line labeled? B to C. And this one is labeled E to F. And then the final set, because it's a triangle, so we actually have three here, goes A to what? C. And then this one goes D to F. Why is that important to be able to do? Because in our work today, we're also going to be given problems where there's measurements on those. And we need to make sure that we're comparing the right parts of the shapes to the right parts. Okay? So I'm going to move my book so you guys can see a different problem at the bottom. And this is showing exactly what we just did. Notice that this one down here is saying the red line D to E corresponds to Q to R. And these are not color coded anymore. The triangles themselves are all one color. Our textbook company is color coding just the ratios. So if D to E corresponds or is the same line on the other shape as Q to R, it can be written as D to E over Q to R. But these have measurements. So do you notice what's happening down here? We've now taken the measurement for D to E and put it in place right here. And the measurement for Q to R is 21, and so it's going here. Do you see how there's equal signs with question marks? That's because we're trying to determine if these really are similar. These look similar, don't they? But we don't know if, if I could take this little one and put it on a copier and increase its percentage, could I get it to be exactly like this one? That's the question that's being asked. And what they've done is they've taken all of these sections and they've created ratios out of them and they're using proportions to solve. They've simplified 1 over 3 equals 1 over 3 equals 1 over 3. The other way to do that would be to cross multiply. And here's where I want you guys to pull out your calculator. We can cross multiply 7 times 24 and 8 times 21. And do we get the same number? Okay, so now we're, we're pretty convinced that these are probably proportional or similar triangles. But we'd also have to check the cross multiplying this direction, 24 and 12, and 8 times 36. And do those also get the same number? And we're finding that they do, yes? Okay, so there's two ways once you've set these up, you can reduce the ratios and see if they reduce to the same number, or you can just cross multiply once they're set up. Okay? But the hard work here really is setting them up, so I want us to practice that a little bit together. Okay? So I'm going to turn the page to an actual problem.
and I want you on your binder paper to write down number one. And we're trying to determine whether these are similar. The first thing we want to do is determine which side lengths go together. So when I'm looking at A to B here, again, on this one I'm going to do the large triangle on top, just because it comes first, and the smaller triangle second. So I've got my word ratio set up. And now I'm going to start setting up these dimensions. A to B corresponds to what on the smaller triangle? AB corresponds to DE. Good. And underneath that, I'm going to write the number ratio that goes with it. What is the number ratio for AB? Nine. What's the number ratio for DE? Three. Okay, and then we're going to do B to C. We're just working our way around the triangle. What corresponds to B, C? E, e F. And let's take the numbers off of those and we get 12 over 4. And because it's a triangle, we have one more to do. We have A to C, which corresponds to D, D F. And our numbers are 6 over 2. Now we can reduce those, or we can cross multiply. Or you can do both to check. So this really is, I think, the hardest part of it is setting it up and making sure when you're looking at the shapes that you're identifying which sides go together or correspond. Okay. 